Hey everyone, welcome back to Cats Are Liquid. Now, I am using a different mic today because I broke ours. Yeah, I broke our $100 microphone. It was the Blue Yeti that I was using. So I had to go out, buy a new microphone. Now I'm using the Blue Snowball and <clears throat> so far, not a fan. I've done some test recordings and I have to be so freaking close to it. Plus, with the, um, the blue yeti... Why is there a door just there? Oh, I see. With the, uh, blue yeti, you could plug your headphones right into the microphone, and you could control everything, and you could hear yourself. So you could hear if you were doing, you know, or, or if you were too quiet. Ah! Oh. No. <clears throat> oh good, there's life there. Uh, yeah, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I went ahead and I fucking broke it. And of course it would be me who breaks the fucking thing. Because I'm already absolutely horrible when it comes to electronics. I, I, I keep telling everyone, like, I swear, I swear to god, I am Jubilee from friggin' X-Men. Because everything when it comes to electronics, I break it. I break it all. Like, Hubby and I had the exact same phones. And oops, ah, god damn it. And I ended up, you know, destroying mine in like a couple months' time. And not because I put stupid apps or anything on it. No, I use Facebook, I use email, I text, and I call. That's it. Same thing he does, you know, but after a month, it starts to go to hell. And this is it with all, like every single one of my electronics app is that way, like my laptops. My well, okay. Well, what's this way? Okay. Um. Anyways, <clears throat> my laptops. My uh. Oh, sorry. Uh, this was interesting. She hadn't seen a ring like this before. Can we touch it? Oh, okay. Something's happening. Oh, it just makes you feel so happy. Make you so happy. I don't know what's going on, guys. Okay. Okay, what just happened? Hold left bump. Oh, cool! I got a new ability. So apparently we're not just liquid, but we're air now, too. Oh, the cat was panicking. No, don't touch me. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, anyways, my laptops, they, you know, they don't even get viruses, they just stop working well. And everything does that. Everything I touch that's an electronic will do that, and I hate it. So, like I said, got to go out and get a new microphone today, a crappy microphone, and now I'm sitting so close with my back arched because oh, we don't even have like a proper stand or anything. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. It's just on the desk. So it's like, ugh. Just not cool. It really just seems to be like one thing after another lately. Um, we just got back from a funeral for my aunt-in-law, my husband's aunt, and uh, that that was hard. The, the, it was the first- uh, okay. Does that work if I jump on all of them? Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, right. Uh, she thought she knew, she understood. She thought she now understood her new ability. Okay. Um, but yeah, so the, the kids, and- it was actually interesting. My, my son, as I've said before, has autism. And uh, when I first told the kids about what happened with their great aunt, um, the, the girls were upset to the point where they were crying, and that's understandable. It had already been proved to be useful. 
Um, but my son, however, he was really inquisitive, as, you know, most kids with autism usually are. Um, what's this? Oh, interesting. Anyways, um, yeah, he was asking all these questions, like, you know, where did they find her? How did she die? What happened? Who found her? But the question that really is, um, I guess I'll say interesting is that he asked what color she was when they found her and it was my uh my father-in-law or her brother my, uh, the, my aunt-in-law's brother was my father-in-law he's the one who found her unfortunately um but yeah he asked what color she was and i'm just like uh, like at first i was like what kid asks this and then i thought well i mean you know he's always had odd questions, but he asked what color she was. And so I, I told him, because I'm not about to lie to him and be like, oh, you know, she was all covered in fucking rainbows. No, I'm not about to do that. I said, you know, she was blue and purple, and you know, the, her, her lips were absolutely white. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, there was that. Um, anyway, so when we were at the funeral, my girls, they were upset again. Um, but my son, like, we, we went to the viewing and at first my son was totally fine with it and he was just kind of looking around at the people wondering what was going on and then all of a sudden he just goes like catatonic like he just he started crying and then just nothing uh, okay but yeah just he went like, completely catatonic and he just sat there and was staring at like nothing because we put him in a chair afterwards and uh oh orange shirt okay um yeah so i was sitting there and i said do you have any questions do you want to talk about it and he just he kept sitting there uh, this is crazy sorry yeah he wasn't answering me or anything so we just let him sit there and uh the, the funeral home was so nice. It, it was a really beautiful home that the funeral was done in. Um, and they had those mint candies set out like everywhere, just everywhere. So I offered him one and he looked at it and he goes, yeah, I'll, I'll have one of those. So that got him to kind of snap out of it. And then he was fine after that. Like he wasn't crying or anything afterwards. And he, he didn't have any more questions, but he also didn't go catatonic either, so that's good. But yeah, it kind of scared us for a little bit because we didn't know what was happening. And like, I've asked him too, like, okay, so what happened? And he goes, I don't know. <laughs> he just, he doesn't know what happened. He doesn't have an explanation for it. He just, I think what happened was maybe the realization that, you know, death is a real thing kind of hit him. Because, I mean, we've had deaths of pets, like, just this summer I lost my absolutely gorgeous chameleon that was probably the hardest um loss for me pet wise in a long time i loved him he was beautiful he didn't like people too much but he was still beautiful um so yeah we've dealt with our pets this room was tilted we've dealt with our pets dying and whatnot and he understood that oh i just jumped up that but I, like we've never well he as long as he can remember, hasn't had to deal with um, deaths in the family. So I think maybe it just became real for him. So, which I mean sucks, but at the same time it's kind of good too because he realizes that, you know, human life does have an end. As much as it sucks to think about, you know, it does eventually, it ends for all of us. She just ignored it. So that was our last couple days. I mean, it was actually, it was kind of really nice because we got to see people we haven't seen in a long time. I got to meet some more family of my husband's that I've never met before. So, I mean, it was really nice. And the funeral was done really well, too, because she was a, a Wiccan. So, and she was also native. So it was a, like a, a mixture of pagan and, okay. Did I only have one life left? I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go. I guess it sent me this way, so do I go this way? Anyways. 
Yeah, so it was a really nice mixture of both um, native and pagan uh, rituals. So. This game is so beautiful, and it's really relaxing to play. Like, I know there's games that are relaxing out there, but, ah, uh, but this one's really good. <laughs> Fuck off. <sighs> Until you die. <laughs> when you die, it's not so relaxing. But yeah, for the, for the most part, this game's really nice, and I'm not even a cat lover. Like, typically, fuck off. I hate cats. <laughs> but I have to say, if there was a cat that was, like, as fluffy and, like, just round, jumpy, like this one was, and happy, because this one's happy almost- fuck off. Happy almost all the time. Ah! <laughs> Anyways, if there was a cat as happy and fluffy as this one, I would love to have a cat like that, because why not? And it has a smile on its face almost all the time. Don't fucking hit that. I said don't hit that. But yeah, how can you not love a cat that has a smile on its face and just kind of rolls around everywhere? I'd love a cat that just rolls around everywhere. Okay, we're not gonna die. Oh, come on! Alright, I don't want that one. Why didn't I just do this? Why didn't I just do this? Because as long as she would just get out of here. I mean, it's a little bit slower, but if it keeps you safe. Uh, she's getting tired of these rooms. We'll do one more room. We'll see where we are. Whee! Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Whee! How high up do I have to go? Oh, this level looks huge. Oh my god. Yay. I love just being like the liquid one and just running. It's, it's so fun. Whee! Um. There we go. Jeez. Sometimes it takes me a while ah, to figure out what I have to do. There's a huge lake of orange liquid below her. Come on! Uh, just gas right on out of here. <laughs> and fall down through the door. Okay. So I don't even know what level this is. I'll have to go in and see whereabouts I am. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I forgot that I had to lean in nice and close to this friggin' microphone. I was leaning back. I hope I didn't do that for too long. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!